Here it is, here it is. What do you guys think? Doesn't that look cute? Cute little thing. Here is the Bouge RV, at least that's how I hear it pronounced. It's a really pretty gray color here, kind of silvery gray. And this is also a very light gray. So the color contrast is really cool. And then this part here is a magnet. It's magnetic, I guess I should say, has a magnet. And it's, it's a little tough to pop open, which is good. Then it's got this chain right here to keep it from completely going over. So that is nice. Now it does not have any kind of LED or any kind of lighting, which is fine with me. Less power usage. You have um, your temperatures here, what to set the temperatures at, depending on what kind of food you have, the model number, all that kind of good stuff, and a pretty little uh, Bouge RV logo there. Okay, so this is what it looks like, you guys. Let me kind of zoom in here so you guys can see the the brains of it here so we have the power button a settings button and then a plus and minus here and then what's cool about it too it has a usb port so you can also charge your device your phone or whatever you need at the same time and then it's got some instructions here and also the tip to not plug it in and turn it on for at least 12 hours after shipping. So it's been over 24 hours, so we are good to plug it in. On this side, it has where you would plug it in, right here. It could be a 12 volt or 24 volt. So this is the brains side, and then this is the storage side. So let's see what comes in, in this little box. Let me set you down, let's see. I guess this is more a model number. You can get a 24 month warranty. Um, then there's other options you can purchase and kind of use. The energy guide, which is estimated at $17 yearly cost. And then the user manual, the model CR22, because it's a 23 quart. And if you guys are curious about this, just kind of what the little booklet has, wires and such, and how to operate it, the buttons, how to work it. Just see what we have. Okay, so we have the box part, which I've already unraveled, you guys. I've already like checked this stuff out, but yeah, here's the AC DC adapter, and it has this part here that pulls apart so you can make it even smaller, more compact for storage. This part here goes on this side to the fridge. And then of course this will go into your like house plug. And let's see. So this part will do the same thing. This part plugs into your, um, your fridge or freezer, however you set it. And then this will go into like a cigarette lighter. So you can have either option. So, yeah, let's plug that in and see. With this part right here, you can see there's like a little cut, a little groove there. And so there's only one way that this can be plugged in. And that little indentation, the little groove part is right there. So it only goes this way. You can't plug it in this way. So it only goes plugged in here. It's a little snug, which is good so it doesn't pop right out. Let me plug this in to my house plug. All right, I just plugged it in. You heard the 
heard that beep. And then you hold for three seconds to turn it on. Oh, turned on. Okay. Oh, it kicked on. The compressor kicked on. I guess we are at 76 degrees. Ambiance in here. Or at least this part right is 76 degrees. Okay, so now you can press the settings for a max or eco. We're on eco. Max, eco, max, eco. I'm gonna leave it on eco. Um, for the freezer, I believe you gotta put it on max. And for a regular fridge, which is what I plan to do at first anyway, we'll be on eco. And then we can set it 40 degrees. Let's see, that should be good, 40 degrees. Let's see, you can also uh, switch from Fahrenheit to Celsius and back and forth by, I guess, holding both of these, no, both of these, the settings and the plus. So you can switch that, oops, Celsius now. Back to Fahrenheit, okay. Colleen's, to lock it, you just hold the, the settings for about three seconds. And did it lock anything? Oh, it has an L. Oh, probably for the low. Let's see if there's any, like the protection mode, okay. If the battery runs low or high, so. I'm learning here, you guys, I'm learning, let's see. Get you pretty close so you guys can see this part here. It just kind of gives you the temperatures that you want to set it at based on what kind of food you're putting in there. For me, I will put uh, probably some vegetables, cooked food, maybe some fruits. Zoom out a bit. All right, you guys can hear the compressor. So here's another sticker. I don't know if that's like the this particular model. I don't know, but anyway, you guys can can hear the compressor. It's not very loud at all, actually. It's a light humming noise. So I'm gonna take all these tape things off of there. Yeah. So this is this is pretty neat. And like my whole my whole arm pretty much can fit there. I'm gonna oh it's already getting cold. Oh yeah, nice. I'm already feeling it getting cold, okay. So what I'm gonna do is put some of my uh, Tupperware, plasticware, rubber made stuff in here so you guys can kind of see the, the interior size, what it can fit. So the handle is pretty much just like the, the hole here so you guys can like lift it. Put your hand here instead of having like a handle pop out it's space saving so that was another thing that i looked at that i really thought was pretty neat about it it's on both sides because sometimes you would have where the handles are out or you can have like a couple different ways and this one doesn't have any any attachments to it where it would have a handle sticking out or a rope or anything like that so it just has that and it's it's pretty convenient I think I like it. It's more sleek design. All right, you guys. So besides Ziploc bags, which are probably the most convenient and space saving, I would use these three different containers. If you guys have been with me for a bit, you know I have these Rubbermaid containers. And what's cool about them, I've got three different kind and the lid fits perfectly for all three of them. This one is a divider one which is really cool for your lunches or leftovers. This one is a pretty deep one. It's eight and a half, yeah, eight and a half cups. So it's pretty deep. And this one is a five and a half cups, which is a pretty good size for when you have leftovers or any kind of um, veggies that you wanna cut up and kind of combine together. So those are my containers that I'm, would consider putting in here along with these kind of ziplocs 
the plastic um, twist top zip locks. I would use these also. These are very convenient. Perfect serving size for one. And also because I have it and I actually do enjoy the mason jars, I would also use a one or two mason jars and I would put them in here. So let's kind of figure that out and test it out and see how much can fit in here. The three different containers that I have with the same top. Let's see if it fits in there. Yeah, with room to spare, you could probably put another one here. Nice. With room to spare, you guys. All right. And if you have something you don't mind on its side that won't leak, you can do that. And will a mason jar fit here? Uh, maybe on top like that. Kind of like that. So you can fit all those containers in here with some room to spare as far as like a Ziploc bag or two that is kind of flexible. You can kind of shove in there. Plus set something else on top. That's quite a bit of space actually. And of course you can set it like that. Put another two here and then your Ziploc bags your leftovers or your things you want to keep refrigerated, salads, macaroni salads, whatever you, you eat. So that is very cool, you guys. It could fit quite a bit. Yeah, I was wondering about the 30 quart and the 23 quart and opted for the smaller one because I like to eat a lot of fresh fruits and veggies and I don't tend to cook as much now. So it would be more convenient foods that would be like salads and spinach, fruits and veggies, you know, things like that. And if I happen to cook something, then it would be leftover stuff that I can put in one of these containers and kind of eat a couple meals out of. Or also buy pre-made stuff or deli meat, cheese, different things like that. Yogurts that I can just plop in here and have pretty much meals ready to go that are super easy and simple and basic for one. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. If you enjoy the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos. You can also join and be part of our coffee club. We would love to have you. Thanks for all the love and support.